she loved me. <laughs> oh, how she loved me, that big fat pain in my ass. <laughs> I never did get the chance to escape. I mean, sure, I was faithful for a couple of years, but who is it? And then after a while, it just got stale. I tried losing her at parties, church, the market, you name it. I even booked her a seat on the Titanic. <laughs> oh, she canceled last minute. Some luck I got. <laughs> so then I ran away where I met the milliner's daughter. Oh, oh my God, the bombs on this broad. <laughs> she could suck the brass off a musket. I was doing a doggy style every night. <laughs> I was gone for a decade. A decade. I come back to Spoon River and Mrs. Perkapile's waiting for me on the front porch with a steaming apple pie. <laughs> oh, Christ. So I told her that while well, uh, having a drink at a bar in Boston that I met uh, Babe Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> and I became the starting shortstop for the Red Sox over the last 10 years and uh, won the Triple Crown and, and four championships. Hit a home run off of uh, Christy Mathewson, which landed me on the cover of Sport Magazine. <laughs> and then after I retired, I, uh, I swam across the Atlantic and, and all kinds of other bullshit. <laughs> she was eating it out of the palm of my hand like a fucking bird. She cried. She kissed me. She wanted my autograph. <laughs> oh, I then concluded that this marriage was never going to end. And I was stuck with this bitch for the rest of my life. <laughs> I was right. <laughs>